ko na. Hello, good afternoon guys. Good afternoon, uh, Northern Laguna chapter and all the attendees of this Thursday Delight. Do we have our speaker already? Engineer Irene Villamor, the keyword. Hello, ma'am. Hi, everyone. I'm here in the Wow, book. thank you, ma'am. Good ma afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. So, before we start, let me introduce to you our speaker for today. Uh, she is a registered electrical engineer and a senior member grade of IIEE. She has almost three decades of active service at Miralco and started her career as cadet en engineer and been assigned to different facets of electric distribution system from design and construction of distribution lines, both for overhead and underground schemes. System analysis focusing on system improvement and meter services for all customer segments. So let us, to, let us welcome all our speaker for today. Engineer Irene Villamor Dakiwag. Thank you, ma'am, for you. being with us for today. Thank you, Engineer Jerry. Tama po ba? I'm just yes, re reading it from your Zoom. Anyway, good afternoon, dear IIEE Northern Log. Una chapter members and friends. Thank you po for waiting since we started a bit late as we practically participated in the conduct of 2023 first quarter nationwide simultaneous earthquake drill today mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. I hope that we are all marked safe from our company safety checklist. Thank you po ulit, Engineer Jerry, for that very kind introduction. Let me share my screen. Start, can I ask a question? Oh, sure po. Yeah. Do you know Engineer Ancheta? Danny Ancheta from yes, Metering po. Services? Yeah, he ah, was. you know him. He was our colleague, but he's already retiring. Retired. Opo. He is my classmate in St. Louis University. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> During Then, our cadetry program, um, yeah, marami ko, rin pong mga St. Louis University cadets yeah. galing doon uh, from our batch. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Please go ahead. Take the floor. All right. So let me share po my screen. Is it, is it seen na po ba? All participants. Wala pa, ma'am. Ah, oh, wala pa po. Okay. Share. Yeah. I hope it's here na po. Yeah, it's there now. Is it clear na po ba? Yes, ma'am. Clear. All right. Okay. So my topic is about common meter forms and its applications. It's not moving. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I will be focusing on the topics regarding the minimum technical requirements, Blundell's theorem, meter types, meter enclosure and cabinets, and meter forms. Sharing with you the distribution revenue metering requirements as stipulated in the Philippine Distribution Code 2017 edition. Uh, if you notice, for the service type single phase two wire, the self-contained meter should be form 1S and 1A, and for the transformer rated, it should be 3S. 4S, and 3A or 4A. For the single phase, 3-wire, 
self-contained meter should be form 2S and 2A. The transformer rated meter should be form 4S and 4A. For the two-phase three wire, self-contained meter should be form 12S, 25S, and 12A, 25A. For the transformer rated meter, it should be form 5S, 6S, 9S, 36S, and 5A, 6A, 9A, 36A. For the three-phase three wire, the self-contained meter should be form 12S, 13S, 25S, and 12A, 13A, 25A. For the transformer rated meter, it should be form 5S, 6S, 9S, 36S, and 5A, 6A, 9A, 36A. For the three phase four wire Y, the self contained meter should be form 14S, 16S, and 14A, 16A. For the transformer rated meter, it should be form 6S, 9S, and 6A, 9A. For the three phase four wire Delta, the self-contained meter should be form 15S, 17S, and 15A, 17A. For the transformer rated meter, it should be form 8S and 8A. For the meters of medium and high voltage customers, the accuracy class of the revenue meter will be based from IEC 687 class 0 0.2 or ANSI 12.2 class 0 0.3 or better. The voltage rating for the revenue meter for self-contained correspond to service voltage. For the instrument transformer rated, it corresponds to secondary voltage rating of voltage transformer used. For the current rating, the revenue meter for self-contained typically range from 20 to 200 amps. For instrument transformer rated, correspond to the secondary current rating of current transformers used, typically 1 or 5 amps. The frequency of the revenue meter should be 60 hertz. Measurement could be unidirectional active metering or bidirectional energy flows bidirectional active metering. The interval data as applicable should be programmable 15 minutes interval. For the recording billing quantities as applicable, the revenue meter should display and record the applicable time of use energy and power requirements, either the kilowatt hour, kilowatt volt ampere reactive hour, if required. The communication capability as applicable should at least have one independent communication port in addition to the optical port. For the meter cover, the meter's internal components shall be protected against the harmful element of environment that may affect its measuring circuit and operation. All this na binanggit ko po sa inyo based from the distribution revenue metering requirements from the Philippine Distribution Code 2017 edition. From the Handbook for Electricity Metering, the theory of what our metering was first set forth on a scientific basis in 1893 by French engineer and mathematician André Blondel. Blondel's theorem applies to the measurement of real power in a system of any number of wires. To simplify, in a system of n conductors, n minus one elements or stators properly connected will measure the power of energy or energy delivered. The connections must be such that all voltage coils have a common tie to the conductor in which there is no current coil. For a polyphase system, 
if energy is supplied to any system of conductors through N wires, the total power in the system is given by the algebraic sum of the readings of N watt meters, so arrange that each of the N wires contains one current coil, the corresponding voltage coil being connected between that wire on some common point. If this common point is on one of the N wires, the measurement may be made by the use of N minus 1 watt meters. Shown here is the diagram of a single phase two wire line to ground system. This is typical for a single phase residential connection if the DT source is line to ground connected. The potential coil is connected across the line and the ground, the line and the ground, and the current coil is connected in series with the line. The current coil measures 100% of the current flowing through the line. This is the line diagram of a single phase three wire system or a line to line system. This is the most common single phase residential connection. The potential, the potential coil is connected across line one and line two, while the current coil is connected in series with line one and line two. For this spot, the current coil measures 50% of line one and 50% of line two with a total of 100% line current measurements. The three wire system is the old metering setup. This is ungrounded, floating phase B, no current coil, just the potential coils. And only phase A and phase C has the current coils. The fire wire system is the typical polyphase connection. There's a complete potential and current coils connected to its faces and to the ground. The four wire delt system delta is also our old metering setup. Now we will deal and have a glimpse of different meter types. Electromechanical meters the power consumed is proportional to the rotation of the disk. The number of revolution is translated and recorded as energy in kilowatt hour through a register consisting of gears, dials, and pointers. The register is a means of recording revolutions of the rotor through gearing of the disk shaft, either a clock or the pointer type or a cyclometer type register may be used. Our slide shows a clock type which has number dials on its face and the pointers turns to indicate a proportion of the number of revolution the disk has made. Since the purpose of the register is to show the number of kilowatt hours used, the reading is proportional rather than direct. The necessary gearing is provided so that the revolutions of the disk will move the first or the right side. So pag ganito po ang pagbasa ng electric, electromechanical meter from right to left. Electromechanical meters have evolved and all manufacturers use very similar approaches. Significant design variations occur in every electronic meter on the market. These variations even occur within a given manufacturer's product line. Ultimately, users or regulatory agencies determine if design trade-offs are appropriate as determined by evaluation and qualification testing of each design. 
So electronic meters has no moving parts. Discs, dials, and gears were already replaced with current and voltage sensors, digital displays, and microchips. And electronic meters are programmable. In 1979, the first microprocessor-based electronic register was introduced as an additional component to an electromechanical meter. This combination was referred to as a hybrid meter. Compared with mechanical registers, electronic registers were more reliable when performing complex functions such as the demand and could be provided at lower cost. In addition, electronic registers provided features not feasible with mechanical registers such, such as time of use measurements, sliding demand intervals, switchable registers, tamper detectors, and self-tests. Today, automatic or remote meter reading is the most common application of electronic registers on electromechanical meters. These registers typically detect the disk rotation using some form of optical detector and communicate the energy consumption to a nearby meter reader or central system. Communication may be by radio frequency or RF, power line carrier, telephone, cable, or other appropriate media. Now, you remember during the previous presentation that you have that five uh, 1S, 2S, 4S, 12S, 16S. That is a typical socket type. That's why it is called S, socket. So socket type is easy and quick to install meter. The socket is pre-wired. Wires are secured. It is outdoor grade and it is safe. On the other hand, the one we saw a while ago, like 1A, 2A, 4A, 12A, 9A, those are bottom connect type. Bottom connect do not require pre-wired socket. Wires are exposed, unsafe if rewired with power, and prone to wiring error. Now, these are the common socket type terminals. You see four terminals, one, two, three, four. Five terminals, one, two, three, four, five. Six terminals, one, two, three, four, five, six. For the four and five terminals, they use maximum conduit of one diameter. So, dito po yun. Diyan po nilalagay yung one diameter na rigid steel conduit. This is used for type of services with load of 20 kilowatts or less. So, normally sa mga bahay po natin ito at sa mga small commercial customers. This socket type has a maximum of 100 amperes. And then, for the six terminals, this is used for single-phase situated meters with a maximum of 20 amperes. For the socket type 5 terminals and socket type 7 terminals, these are used for single-phase socket type meters. And this one, SD7, is used for socket type three-phase meters. Both of them has a maximum of 200 amperes. This is among the old uh, type already. And uh, SD13 has a rating of 20 amps, and it is used also for three-phase socket type meters indoor. Currently, this is now what you can see in the field. This is the electronic polyphase cabinet. This is the outside look of it. And this is the inside. 
This is rated 20 amperes and used for three-phase socket type meters, outdoor type. Now, this is the two-wire line-to-ground system with a single DT source. So this is a line-to-ground system. And for a line-to-ground system, the meter form that we have to use is form 1. So since we're using socket type, it's, it is form 1S. This is an example of an installation using form 1S. So this is the meter base. This is the socket type. This is the one diameter RSC, line one and line two. The upper portion is the loads, the line side. And the lower portion is the load side. Ito po yung pumupunta sa service entrance na ikinokonekta po ng DU. Ito naman po ang pumupunta sa load side na kumokonekta sa main breaker ng ating consumer. If you notice, line 1 and line 3, may 100% pong current measurement dito. Pero sa right side po, ay naka-bypass. Kasi nga, line to ground siya. This is also an example of a line to ground but time of use metering device. So, for the time of use metering device, there is an estimated 3 seconds interval for data retrieval of the single phase data, which includes 0, 01, nagbiblink po yan for the kilowatt hour, 0, 02 for the kilowatt demand, 0, 04 for the cumulative demand. Wala pong 0, 03 kasi pang polyphase po yun. Then, Magnagblink ang 05, 06, 07, and 08. Those are the readings for the peak and off peak data. Now, this is the three wire line to line system, or the what we call, and normally and typically, na form 2S. So, kanina po, pag line to ground, 1S. Pag line to line, 2S. Okay? So, this is a typical 2S connection. This is a plate meter. As I've said, the upper part is the line side. The lower part is the load side. For this one, this is the ID meter or the indicating demand meter na form 2S then. Uh, this is also an example of form 2S by an underground source and overhead source. Ito po ay net metering. So if you notice, sa net metering, may dalawa po tayong meter. The net meter itself and the rec meter. Net meter is a bidirectional meter which can measure both the import and export energy. But the net meter with rec meter and is a rec, rec meter is a requirement as renewable energy certificate mandated by DOE, which measures export energy from the solar insulation. Therefore, since our net meter can also measure the import and export energy, rec meter served as the check meter of the export energy in compliance with the OE. Now you see, this is a form 2S. But if you notice, this is a bottom connect scheme. In Meralco, you will see, within our area, you will see a lot of elevated meters. And currently, the DU is now transforming those elevated meters into a simplified form in such a way that these are smart meters already. 
these meters are enclosed in a PCB enclosure. And these are now read remotely. This one is a typical example of a prepaid meter. This was our smart meter before. But with the drive to convert the existing elevated meters into elevated metering transformation, this type of meters will soon be the most commonly used in those installations. This is a three-wire derived network. And for a three-wire derived network, what we use for the meter is Form 12. Usually, the three-wire derived source is for multi-metering centers. Since the source came from three-phase, the single-phase load will use Form 12S. This is an example of multi-metering installations with line side gutter installed in between two meter centers. So, meron pong meter centers sa taas, meron meter centers sa baba, line side gutter po sa gitna. So, this is a typical installation. Since single phase installation sourcing from three phase, Grounding connection should be ensured that properly and correctly installed ang mga grounding to avoid no display of meters. This is another example of a 12S time of use meters. It's just the same with a 1S kanina. It's, it's just that this could be used as a single phase meter from a three phase source. Three phase four wire. So for a three phase four wire, the meter form to use is 16S. This is a typical installation of a self contained form 16S. Normally, ito po ang gamit ng mga water pumps, ng mga telcos at ng ibang mga small establishments. So, this is a self-contained na ang wires po, ang connections ay pinuprovide at ginagawa ng consumer. Normally, the standard is phase A is at, is at the leftmost or this one, the color red. Phase B is at the center or the yellow one. Phase C is the blue. And a white one is the neutral or ground. This is the lever. Ah, it is. It functions so that during meter replacement, ah, uh, pwede po namin gawing mag-replace ng meter na hindi madi-disrupt or ma-interrupt ang power ni consumer. Now, for the single phase CT rated, the meter form to use is Form 4S. This is a typical installation. Ito po siya. Single phase installation. We have two bushing current transformers or BCTs. Normally, 200 is to 5 ang kanyang CT ratio. Then, the socket type meter base, this one, has insulation. The green insulation provides additional safety features. And there is also this insulation, the transparent. This is this insulation insulation is installed at the potential terminal to ensure non-contact with current terminals. Kasi po, pag nagkaroon ng contact, baka po magkaroon ng meter burned out. The DU is the one providing all these installations. Mula po dito hanggang sa metro, DU po ang nagpo-provide niyan. This is another example. 
in an underground setup. It's just the same. It's just that ang ginagamit pong uh, current transformer cabinet niya is a little big and this is the CTC. The three-phase four wire with three CTs use form 9S. Ito po yun. We have three bushing current transformers or BCTs normally ranging from 200 is to 5 using a small OCTC, this one. And then ito naman is just the same but it's a bigger type of the OCTC since the BCT now range from 800 is to 5 to 1,500 is to 5. Okay. So, ito po. We will dissect this. This is a Form 9S net meter with a Form 16S rec meter. Upper portion is the block assembly and the lower portion is the test switch. There are 10 colors. You'll see all these 10 colors. The block assembly is pre-wired already. Potential wiring is normally the red for phase A, the white for phase B, and the blue for phase C. The polarity wiring is normally phase A for orange, phase B for yellow, and phase C for green. The non-polarity from the block assembly is the block coils or the block secondary leads. Non-polarity from the test switch is colored brown for phase A, gray for phase B, and purple or violet for phase C. Proper wiring of secondary leads will ensure correct phase angle test results. This is a typical installation of Form 9S in a multimetering center. And this is a typical installation of Form 9S in a vault room uh, sourced from a pad-mounted transformer type. You see, for a pad-mounted transformer type, the BCTs are installed in the secondary leads of the transformer. Uh, this is a typical installation of primary metering overhead. So inside this box is the form 9S. The primary metering, this is the primary metering PT, and this is the primary metering CT overhead. This is the primary metering volt type. So inside here is the form 9S meter. This is the primary metering PT, and this is the primary metering CT. For the substation 34.5 kb, this is the primary metering voltage transformer. Actually, ang talaga pong term is VT or voltage transformer. Nasanay lang po kami na pag sa primary metering na 34.5 overhead and volt type, ginagamit po namin yung term na PT or potential transformer. Pero sa mga substations po, we use VT. And it's just the same po. This is the CT. And these are the Form 9S meters. The left side is the main meter and the right side is the backup meter. Okay, blinaw up lang po to see properly. Ito po yung PT, VT. PT, and this is the CT. And then for the 115, 
These are the cities that won John. And the VTs are this one. Ang makita niyo pong difference, para sila nakatayo, pero mas payat ang ating cities, ang VTs po natin ay mas maikse, pero mas malapad. Now, inside the same thing for 115KB, the meters are 9S, the main, and the back up. <sighs> Bilis! I'm almost done! In closing, there are a number of ways to implement a watt-hour or kilowatt-hour meter. But all approaches require power to be measured and accumulated and the results stored and displayed. As such, voltage and current for each electrical phase must be sensed. Voltage and current for each electrical phase must be stored, must be multiplied. The resultant power must be accumulated and the accumulated watt hours must be restored and dis must be stored and displayed. The meter must be accurate and reliable over a variety of env environmental conditions. And the meter performance must be certifiable to the energy provider, consumer, or any involved regulatory agencies. And to conclude, what hour or kilowatt hour meters measures the consumption or production of electricity through electromechanical, hybrid, or electronic types, which generate revenue data and serves as the cash registry of the utility or the company. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang IIEE Northern Laguna Chapters. Good afternoon and God bless everyone.